I'm gonna play around a little bit more. What have we done until now? We've installed Windows 10. That's always the first thing you do. Then you install a Linux thing beside it. That's what we've done. So first, the whole hard disk was for Windows. And then with Arch Linux and Calamaris, we divided it in two. <laughs> and now I was thinking, what if, if this is Arch Linux, the flagship, what if I can uh, install Arch Linux D beside it, right? So I can pop over to Arch Linux, and then that's the one that I'm going to use now. I'm going to put them in, Arch Linux D. And I'm going to split the partition of Arch Linux into two pieces. So we get three things. We get, well, four. There's the, yeah, I should really quit, quit. That's going to be here. Start again. Yes, yeah, start again. So I want uh, a little boot partition, then we have a Linux and uh, Windows partition, and then with a big Linux partition. So that's three. I want to have a fourth one, right? This is the Arch Linux D guy because it's white and it says so, Arch Linux D. And I'm going to split the last partition, number three, into two. So I have four partitions and three operating systems as such. One is Arch Linux D, the second is Arch Linux the flagship, and the third is Windows. That's the goal. Just playing around because I'll never use this, but it's just me having fun because I'm going to install a new Windows for my work anyway. So I have this USB lying around and I'm going to play a little bit as well in the meantime. So a lot of things are possible, but it's always um, tricky. And um, that's why we advise you to have one operating system per SSD hard disk. But I understand if you have a laptop, that's going to be difficult, right? But if in the future you buy a desktop, you also buy a bay. So I can put in SSDs in and out. That's going to be so much easier. No frustrations with, uh, well, all these partitions not picking up and so on. The errors we see online, right? Now, the things we can do, we can actually install from Calamars, which is great, which I'm not going to show. I'm going to show you something else. We can just skip everything. And I've been working on it for three days, I think. Just making new scripts, better scripts for Arch Linux D GitHubs. So we can skip all these things and then, okay, Brussels is good. Belgian I can't skip. So a Zerti keyboard. You're it. And then this is the most important thing, right? So a piece of Windows uh, where the grub is as well. And then Windows 10. Fine. And here is the flagship. Arch Linux. But install alongside. We're not going to replace. Otherwise I have to give up my flagship. I don't want to do that. I want to install alongside this guy. So the flagship gets cut in two, and Arch Linux D, the red one, comes there. Let's see if it's portable, if it's possible, if it can be done, etc. Enter, enter, hopla, we're starting again. So resizing is the first thing he has to do. I'm afraid I can't put it on pause. This application is not, is not yet uh, that far. I do hope they give us the opportunity pause and keep going afterwards but first is the resizing of the partition number three to be able to have a partition number four device sda3 now it's creating x4 device sda is going to be number four there it is little flag and off it goes now installing Arch Linux ISO the flagship two gigabytes or Arch Linux D one gigabyte well it's a different time of course unpacking a big image or unpacking a small image is just half in time so this is gonna be quite fast if you've watched uh, the other video how to 
install ArcLex besides Windows. Alongside is better word. Alongside Windows. I'll just shut up. Almost there. Then you'll see it jumps right up. Oof. Fifty. How is it possible, right? Eighty. So if you install, if you chose in Calamaris to install a lot of stuff, at this point in time, now around eighty is gonna install all those things. Well, first of all, it's gonna download all those things and then it's going to install it. So it's a bunch of work for the machine. It all depends on your internet connection, CPU, memory, it's all, it all matters how long it will last, how long, how long it will take to do that. All right, almost there, coming a bit closer here. Okay, now we can reboot, okay, so what did he do, what has been done, if you do it like this, first Windows, hold the partition, then at a Linux, give it half, right, unplug, I need to unplug the USB, alright, out of it, otherwise it will reboot and reboot, okay, first you Windows, it took two partitions, a small boot and a big Windows thing. Split it in two. And now I have this, right? I have the flagship is here, Windows 10 is there. Rather have it up there, but you know already how it is in the other video. Grub customizer, move it up and save. What is here is that Linux D, right? And the D version is, is great in the sense that I, I've just cleaned it out. I mean, it has only and I'm going to show you that it's only eight packages of Arch Linux, and that's it. Uh, well, first uh, login, maybe, Eric. Thank you very much. So, sudo pacman minus remove. If you want to have a system that is not, that has nothing of Arch Linux, it's one, two, three, four, six. Oh, it's even less. It's seven. No, nope, I'm saying it's nine packages, right? Nine packages from us, and that's it. So if you say, I want to get rid of all that, then you do minus R and you have an Arch Linux installation done the graphical way. It's not the same. Uh, you will never hear me say that. Arch Linux is, is installation is different. You know how it is. Take a look at some videos on arclinuxd.com, uh, phase five, you'll see. But it's, uh, it's an Arch Linux installation. It's graphical. It has been easy. And then you do your thing. Now, the point is, to carry on, of course, all right? So to do a git clone, actually, git clone, what should we install? XFC is most, uh, or MLT is also good, it doesn't really matter what we install. So, oh no, github.com. Everybody knows github.com, and that ever know what he knows this is the Arcle XD ISO, that's also good. And what do you want? Arco XFC. Fine, that's that. Alright. Okay, XFCE. We said Mate, so Mate it is. Could be awesome, could be GWM, could be anything. And then CDA. That's it. These are the scripts. Run them or don't run them. But if you run 100, you get already an Arch Linux feel. So 100, let's put my numeric key that on will provide you with already uh, something to really like and love but mm, you'll see what I mean the mm, it's not of this time yet so that's up to you to make Mate nice to make uh, XFC nice to make plasma nice to make deeping nice uh, I don't know, it's it's a personal taste, right? How would, how should a operating look? It's gonna differ from person to person. Everybody has an opinion on it. Sudo reboot, SR. That's the only thing you need to do. You git clone it, you run script 100, and you sudo reboot. 
I'm booting from the first line, which is Aquinas D, right? And there we go. LightYM is installed, it's active, and you've got yourself a Mate installation. It's very clean. Of course, there are some things in here that we like. Alkalinx Tweak Tool is here. Um, take a screenshot. Yeah, why not? Mate things are in here. Obviously, it's Mate. Mate Terminal is there. And all these things are present. And then it's up to you to make the look and the feel any way you see fit. So that's an article XD thing, if you want to venture that way, and then it's up to you. You can do two things. You can actually say, this is it, I like it, great for you. Then you keep installing browsers probably, uh, anything else you have in mind, install it. Or you can say, is this all? Aren't there any more scripts? Yes, there are more scripts. So this was just number 100. If you want to have the look and feel of Arco Linux, that's this one, 500, 600. All the rest is just, well, things we like. That's us, development software, things we like. We can display it better. Some stuff. And what is the stuff? Here's the list. Scrot, Simple, Screen Recorder, Discord, Telegram, the Platinum Search for Melt, Flameshot, Sublime Text, and Firefox. That will be installed. Just a small list. Here's the list. That will be installed. That's it. If you want to add something, because that's the point of, an, of a script, make these scripts your script and install it later on again. Sound, Bluetooth, all the normal stuff is there, but also some general software just to give you an idea. So the Arch Linux things, not coming from us, Variety is coming from Arch Linux, Atom, Melt, Sublime Text is coming from, um, well, Arch Linux, right? Yes, they are double, but they will be skipped anyway. So just a nice green line saying, hey, already installed, skip it if you run this one, because this one is for us. So 300, so let's um, talk about this. So 200 is Arch Linux servers, 300 is Arch Linux server, third party, and, and this one is Arch Linux server but then the extra large the big files are there and this is then the software for this specific distro that we recommend and additional packages that we have created and if you want to have nice conkeys and all that and nice fonts this is it and this is it and that's it you do with your system what you like you can keep it as is and keep on installing more enjoying our scripts making your own scripts it's all about freedom in Arch Linux. And it's up to you guys to, to figure out what you want, basically. Uh, what way to install it via Calamares, via Arclinx B, or via the Arclinx Suite tool, tweak tool, right? That's possible as well. And we saw it somewhere Arclinx tweak tool. This guy provides you again with the possibility to quickly install awesome on Mate. How awesome is that, all right? Just for fun, awesome. Bam, install. Retrieving packages. Since this is a very bare installation, he's getting more packages than normal on, as, um, as on the flagship, right? System, log out, log out. So there's so, it's so versatile. There are so many choices. There are so many things you can do uh, with this um, operating system. And it's entirely up to you to decide if you want to use it. But it's so versatile, right? Um, but it's not going to be Arclinx B. You see all the white thing there. It's not going to be Arclinx B. Arclinx B is, is themed and tweaked the way we like it and, and want it. It's up to you to decide if you want um, something else here. All right. So it's um, an interesting concept. But the video was all about Windows, of course. Um, how to do all that in one system. If you wanted to move up um, the line there, when we boot it up, we can show it quickly again. When you boot up, you see the line of windows being on the second line. So watch the video about Grub Customizer. So if you want to have Windows 10 at the top right there, right there, then you use Grub Customizer and move it to the top. 
simply and efficiently. All right, enjoy.